case of glycoma. And about eight years ago, uh, he thought it would be good for me to go over and be tested. And at that time I was still working and uh, my first uh, encounter was with Susan, who uh, was my mobility specialist. She met me in, Kirk in uh, Clayton, where I worked, and we walked around the streets and she gave me some safety uh, lessons on how to cross the street more safely. About two and a half years ago, I got hit by a car, and the long-term result is I lost my uh, right eye. And uh, before I had the operation, I called Susan, who I hadn't talked to for a long time, and I explained to her what the situation was, and she said, we'll help you get through this, and they did. I, I uh, was part of a, a group at, the, uh, at your office, where uh, uh, kind of a support group, I guess I'd call it, and that was helpful because each person has their own challenges, and it helped the people that were there that didn't have that particular challenge to understand other people with sighted issues. And uh, it gave us some confidence. And it, it, what it did for me, it gave me confidence that I could deal with this, even though I, I, I was gonna lose my, and I did, uh, lose my right eye, I was able to, to handle this. And then on an ongoing basis, I've had, uh, Susan has helped me uh, with walking in my neighborhood and in downtown Kirkwood to be able to do it safely. And we met with the town engineer and uh, part of his staff. They put in new street lights that have audios on them to, to help disabled people cross the street. And we wanted to make sure they were loud enough. Wait, wait. Argon Drive. What side is on the cross? Argon Drive. Wait. As my field of vision decreases due to the glycoma, uh, I'm able to navigate my surroundings in confidence, and uh, that is a, that uh, I think I've gotten that confidence because of the training I've had, I've received from the Society of the Blind. The more I do it, the more confidence I have in doing it. In other words, the more I practice with my cane, the different challenges that I uh, come up on when I'm in a walking lesson, it, it teaches me to handle that challenge. And so the next time I do it, I can do it without being afraid.